If a tree falls in a forest but there's no one there to hear it, does it actually make a sound? While I don't know the answer to that question, I do know that decaying trees and forests release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. What many people don't know is that trees that are cut down absorb carbon dioxide for centuries, and the new trees planted in their place absorb carbon dioxide at an increasing rate. Let me explain. We utilize trees right down to the last handfuls of sawdust. We produce timber and processed products, glue lamp structures, wooden packaging, and beddings for animals. Wood chips go to paper and pulp factories, and wood dust and bark are used to produce bioenergy. Wood isn't just an environmentally friendly raw material, it's also a huge regional source of employment, bringing food to the table of thousands of Finnish homes. It is said that one sawmill job creates three more. Finns have known how to utilize wood for centuries. Why stop now, when the world needs wood more than ever before? By building from wood, we are utilizing pure and locally produced raw material. Carbon dioxide remains in these carbon storages and stays out of the atmosphere for hundreds of years. And the forest just keeps on growing. <laughs>